Could one of the simplest forms of life help solve one of the most complex issues we face today? These scientists in the Enterprise Rent-A-Car Institute for Renewable Fuels at the Donald Danforth Plant Science Center believe the answer is yes. And so does the lab director, Dr. Richard Sayer. In the mid-70s, when we had the, the oil crisis, uh, was an interest in looking at the potential of algae of producing fuel, in this case oil. We went back more recently and looked at the data generated from that program. And what we realized was is that algae had the potential to produce 10 times more fuel per area per year than any terrestrial crop system. We're now quite confident that we can produce fuel from algae economically with a reduced environmental impact and with high energy efficiency. Algae plants naturally produce oils. By finding ways to increase the oils produced by algae, this research hopes to find the best oil to use in producing biofuels. The St. Louis Science Center has become a part of the research with a project called Algae Palooza, reaching out to the public through the Life Sciences Lab. The Science Center started a project asking public support to collect algae from all over the area. The origin of each vial of algae is documented, then given to Dr. Sayer's lab. So far, some of the samples have shown promise. Well, in this room, we have algae growing under a variety of different types of conditions. Uh, we have algae behind me on petri dishes. These algae are largely all genetically engineered, and each dish will have a different type of genetic modification. So you see, we, over the years, we've made a lot of different types of genetic modifications in the algae. Dr. Sayer and his team of researchers are also looking for ways algae might help control CO2, carbon dioxide emissions. It's a fully integrated program from the basic biology all the way to the market. And it includes economic analyses to see if, you know, this is economically feasible but also we're uh, assessing the sustainability index, what is the carbon footprint of this technology. We're looking at the energy efficiency. Uh, are we getting more energy out than we're putting into the system and how much more energy are we getting out? Inventive ways to conduct innovative research in a cooperative project between the Donald Danforth Plant Science Center and the St. Louis Science Center. I'm Al Wyman.